Welcome to our mountains. My husband goes to a lot of meetings and at these meetings they do a lot of eating. So he was telling me about a recipe that had chicken and broccoli and it was in a braid and I couldn't understand anything about it and he never did bring me any because they ate it up before he came home. Well the other night he brought home the recipe. So today we're going to try that recipe but with my own take. I'm changing some things, I'm adding my own uh, ingredients to it so this is a chicken braid. <laughs> so we're, we'll start with the dough. You want to keep these intact. So do not separate, just unroll the dough And I'm using a baking stone. I found that this really makes a crisp outside on your rolls. It is okay to overlap this some because you're going to roll it out flat. So just roll these crescent rolled dough. To about the size of your stone. If you don't have a baking stone, just use a cookie sheet or a baking pan. Something about the size that you're seeing here, about oh, 12 by 18, something like that. Try to get it as flat and uniform as possible. It's okay if some of it's a little longer because we're going to braid this. So let's let that sit there just for a minute while we work on the filling. I've got just a package of broccoli, which I did steam in the microwave, and I seasoned it with some butter and salt. Chopped it up. I have some chunk chicken. It calls for two cups, but I'm gonna go ahead and add three whole cans. I wanna make it very meaty. All of these have been drained. Everything I'm using in the cans today have been drained. The water chestnuts, and they're sliced. I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of dill weed, a heaping teaspoon of garlic, and this is minced garlic. lots of cheese. I'm using the grated, finely grated cheddar cheese. I'll save that for a minute. And to bind this all together, I'm going to use mayonnaise. About a half to three quarter cup. It's a very rich filling. This is a meal in itself. I served it last weekend and it served six adults very well. We had a salad and this and a dessert and it was a good meal. You're going to love the crunch of these water chestnuts. Now you take your dough and I have a pizza cutter or you can use a knife and you're going to slice about an inch about a third of the way in, okay? They don't have to be exact. And then do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna come about a third of the way in. Just slice away. Kids would love helping with this. And there. Now in this center part right here that I did not slice, that's where I'm gonna put the meat. Now it's gonna be a little bit messy. I think I'm going to move it over right here so it won't go down in my burners. Okay, we're going to spoon this. Try to keep it in the center as much as possible. I can smell the dill weed. I can smell the broccoli, the chicken, 
and the garlic even just a little bit. You could add more if you'd like. You can add a lot of garlic if you really love it. I don't. Just to taste is all I like. You could even add some onion if you wanted. This is a recipe that you could just customize yourself. Now you want to have your oven hot. You want to have it at 350 degrees. You know everything's baked at 350 degrees. Have you ever noticed that? Most everything. All right, now the braiding part. You just start at one end and you're going to just fold it over and there's no art to it. You just fold it over and the next one, that one broke. I'm going to put it up here and fold it in. I'm going to have to stretch them today because I have all this extra meat filling. I left the end on both of them open intentionally so I can just kind of pinch it together like that. Hopefully it won't run out in the oven. I have a beaten egg white. I'm going to brush it on. This will give it a nice brown color when it bakes and it also will stick the almonds to it. I have uh, a bag of slivered almonds that I'm going to put on top. So not only is this recipe crunchy on the inside, it's crunchy on the outside. And just drizzle those on. They will brown up really nice in the oven and they are so good. They just give it such a good flavor and a good crunch. Ready for the oven. 350 degrees and you're going to bake this. The time's going to vary because I've got so much in it today. I'm going to watch it very closely. But when it starts puffing up and getting nice and brown, it should be about 30 to 40 minutes. But watch it. You don't want to burn it. 350, 30 or 40 minutes. Okay. The um, chicken braid has been in the oven about 35 minutes and it looks like it's just about perfect. It's hot and bubbly, nice golden brown on the outside. The nuts are nice and toasted. It looks very good, it smells wonderful. Let's cut into it and see how it looks. All right, look at that. That looks really good. So here's your meal, almost soup to nuts, huh? Hope you enjoy it and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Our Mountains is sponsored by Frontier Nursing University, educating nurse midwives and nurse practitioners through distance education. The Kentucky Bankers Association. The Foundation for Appalachian Kentucky, a community foundation helping donors make meaningful investments in Eastern Kentucky. Learn more at AppalachianKentucky.org. Hazard Community and Technical College. Find them online at hazard.kctcs.edu.